Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, clean and minimal lower third in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. You can download this lower third template for free from my store, the link is given in the description. Now let's start with creating, new composition, name it as lower third title. As usual, we will set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. Here we will set time duration to 3 seconds. Here we need to add 3 text layer, let's add our first text. Here I will be using Unisan font family. Font style to heavy italic caps. Here we need to adjust the font size. Here I will set it to 100. Let's adjust its position. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to text layer. Let's set the color. Perfect. Let's add the second text layer. Here we will create duplicate of first text layer. Position it. Let's change the text. Here I will change fill color to white for this text layer. Position it near to the first text layer. Perfect. Now let's add our subtext. Let's reduce the font size. Here I will set it to 30. Let's position it below the second text layer. For subtext layer. Let's add fill. Here we will change the fill color. Perfect. Now select the pen tool. Make sure you have not selected any layers. Here we need to create a straight line, at center of both text layers. First, in fill option, change fill to none. Stroke option to, solid color. Let's create line. Perfect. Here you can adjust the stroke width. Let's rename the shape layer 1, to line 1. Now we need to position anchor point to center. Perfect. For line 1, press R to bring up rotation. Create keyframe for rotation. Change rotation value to minus 180 degrees. Now at 20 frames. Change rotation to 20 degrees. You can see the preview. Select created keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now press S to bring up the scale. At 20 frames, create keyframe for scale. At start of the timeline, change scale value to zero. You can see the preview. Select created keyframe, 
Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of the line. For line 1, press P to bring up the position. Now at 20 frames, create keyframe for position. At 1 second, change position value of X axis for line 1 as shown. Perfect. Select created keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. For line 2, press P to bring up the position. Now at 20 frames, create keyframe for position. At 1 second, change position value of X axis for line 2 as shown. Perfect. Select created keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now we will create shape for subtext. Make sure you have not selected any layers. Select rectangle tool. Change fill option to solid color. Change stroke option to none. Now create shape, hiding the subtext layer. Let's position the layer below subtext. Perfect. Here you can adjust the scale for shape layer. For shape layer 1. In contact, for rectangle 1, in transform. Let's adjust the skew value. Here I will set it to 13. You need to adjust the position. If your shape layer is too small, you can increase the scale value. Here I will change its name to shape 1. Let's create shape layer hiding the text layer 1. Place it above the first text layer. For shape layer 1. In transform, change skew value to 15. For text layer, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 1. For text layer. Press P to bring up the position. At 1 second, create keyframe for position. Now at 1 second and 20 frames, create keyframe for position. Here we need to change the position value for first keyframe. Adjust position value for X axis as shown. You can see the preview. Select created keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Here we need to adjust the speed graph. Adjust it as shown. Similarly, we need to do this for second text layer. Create shape for text. Position it above the text layer. For text layer, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 2. For shape layer 2, in transform, change skew value to 15. For visuals, press P to bring up the position. Add 1 second and 20 frames, create keyframe for position. Now at 1 second, 
change position value for x-axis as shown. You can see the preview. Select created keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Here we need to adjust the speed graph. Adjust it as shown. Perfect, here you can see the preview. Now let's create duplicate of shape 1. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. For shape 1, change track mat to alpha mat shape 2. For shape 1, press P to bring up the position. Add 1 second, create keyframe for position. Add 20 frames, change position value for X axis as shown. Select created keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now let's create duplicate of shape 2. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Position it above subtext layer. For subtext, change track mat to alpha mat shape 3. Now for subtext, press P to bring up the position. At 1 second and 20 frames. Create keyframe for position. At 1 second, change position value for X axis as shown. Select created keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Here you can see the complete preview. For text layers, let's activate the motion blur. Now select all created layers, pre-compose them. Name it as lower third. For this composition, in composition setting, I will increase the time duration to 5 seconds. Here you can set the duration according to your requirement. For lower third. In time, let's enable time remapping. Here we will delete the end keyframe, let's stretch the lower third composition. Now at 2 seconds, change time remap value to 2 seconds. At 3 seconds, create keyframe for time remap. Now at end of the timeline, change time remap value to 0. Here you can see the preview. Perfect. For this composition, you can adjust the scale value, and position the lower third wherever you want. Perfect. Here our lower third is ready to use. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.